Three in the morning, four at night. Olga Yeremeva is 46. She's a businesswoman and a grandmother. She's also HIV positive. Olga discovered her status by chance after an accident put her husband in hospital. After surgery, the doctor said they couldn't figure out what was wrong. My husband had some virus. At first they thought it could be meningitis. It was HIV. Olga and her husband had lived with it for years, undetected and untreated. Within months, her husband was dead. It couldn't be. There was no way it could be HIV. That was always somewhere else, in someone else's life. I was always healthy, always fit. We cross St. Petersburg to the city's government HIV center, where Olga receives treatment. But how typical is her case? We are now seeing the epidemic entering the wider population. The kinds of patients we're seeing, they're not drug users. These are people with families, with children. In most cases, they're being infected by sexual transmission. Last year saw reported HIV infections in Russia top 100,000, an all-time high. Doctors estimate that the true figure is significantly greater. Of those patients that do know their status, only about a third receive antiretroviral drugs. Without them, patients run the risk of infecting their partners. Epidemic is a term the Russian authorities seem desperate to avoid. But with infection rates at an all-time high, it's a problem that's becoming increasingly harder to ignore. Critics argue that the government's response is hampered by its conservative social agenda and chronic underfunding. Olga never considered keeping her HIV status a secret. It was never a question for me. I never thought about whether I should be afraid of other people's reactions when they heard about it. For me, it's all about making sure the same thing doesn't happen to other people. That's why she decided to tell her story. It's a timely message, but one that the official figures suggest isn't getting through.